in my last video, I showed you how to go through the circle of fourths uh, and play major seventh chords over the top of it with certain voicings that had good voice leadings. And um, I wanted to show you today that you can um, take that same circle of fourths and lower the root by a minor third or three half steps and start your circle of fourths there, then do the same chords in your right hand and then you'll have some extended voicing, some minor nines. So if we start with the major sevenths, we have, um, just to review, we went, we did C major seven, to F major seven, to B flat major seven, E flat major seven, A flat major seven, D flat major seven, G flat major seven, B major seven, E major seven, same progression and start um, a minor third lower like I said start on A and then go through the circle of fifths that way or circle of fourths same thing um, then uh, this is what you'll get A minor switch that to the left hand and play the roots on the top and you get some really neat colors. Let me see if I can do that one. Okay, so Okay. So start with different inversions. So let's take the same progression now. Instead of starting with a root position, C major 7 chord, let's start with um, a 4-2 inversion, meaning we're going to put the roots here and then put the major 7th underneath. underneath. Alright, if you throw, throw the A underneath that, have an A minor 9. For a minute, take your right thumb and move it down to A. That's an A minor 7 chord. Playing the A in the root, you just bring that root up a whole step in the right hand, or whichever hand is doing the chord. The 2 is the same thing as a 9, and that gives you your rootless ninth voicing. Okay. You better move the right hand up an octave. This time we're going to go from that to a root position. You sort of have to, um, you have to sort of look at uh, the, the pattern as you're moving down so you don't get lost. Okay. Actually, that one you have to move the outer voices. So uh, let's do another one first. Let's do um, this one. Okay, so we're going to put the root and the C in the right hand. Um, we'll play G, B, C, E. If that were an A minor 7, it would have this G, A, C, E. Move the A up to B. Okay. And then we'd go to the D minor 9 and bring the bottom two notes down. And now we have root position. So.
makes sense when you start getting the pattern going. You can kind of see how the steps are moving, how the, how the parts are moving. Um, so the, like the bottom two will move together and then the top two will move together. You can also reverse that one. It takes a little bit more thought. Let's see if we can do that. So we'll bring this down here. And I'm going to play um, the root in octaves in the right hand. Let me see if I can get this. inversion now. Uh, this time I'm going to put the, if I'm just thinking the major seventh in the right hand, B, C, E, G. We're going to put the A in the left hand. Those combined make up an A minor 9. Okay, let's try it. So this time the outer two voices will move down and the middle two will stay the same and, and then the middle two will move while the outer stay the same. Let's see how that works. A minor 9, D minor 9, middle two notes move, now the outer two notes move. try now to switch the hands. So we start with an A in the right hand, A, then you've got a B, C, E, G in the left hand. Let's see if I can make this. exercise. Um, helps you find some really neat chord voicings. Um, and take that, um, I think we did three of, there's one inversion left, and I think we did them all. 
But anyway, you can also uh, try that with uh, minor sevenths and uh, dominant sevenths. Maybe we'll save that for the next video. This will keep you busy for a while. And the idea is that you can find positions of your chords um, quickly moving from one to the next without having to jump around. You get used to that sound in your ear and the feeling in your fingers. So uh, I'm putting myself through the paces tonight with this and um, see what you can make of it. I know it's a little bit more complicated, but it's definitely a worthwhile um, thing to do. And 